This group of Arizona Game and Fish law enforcement officers are getting ready to saddle up and hit the dusty trail. But instead of horses, they're riding something with just a little more horsepower. These officers are taking part in a special saturation patrol to help ensure that off-highway vehicle users follow and understand that there are some rules to the off-road. That's part of that program that went into place the 1st of January 2009 to help better manage off-highway vehicle use in the state. In the last 12 years, off-highway vehicle use has seen an increase of 347 percent and we need some, some way to help manage that. The huge growth in off-highway vehicle or OHV use in Arizona has outpaced the existing funding to manage that growth, protect wildlife habitat, and help maintain recreational access. So in 2009, a new state law went into effect that requires the annual purchase of a $25 decal for vehicles that are designed primarily for use over unimproved terrain and weigh 1,800 pounds or less. Uh, these bikes were designed to ride off-road, so by law you have to have the OHV decal. That $25 decal that we've talked about, the, the money that comes into the program uh, gets separated out into three organizations. 60% of the money goes to the State Parks Department, 35% comes to the Game and Fish Department, and 5% goes to State Land Department. The 60% uh, is used mainly for uh, a grant program to help increase riding areas, to help uh, fix up and clean up riding areas, as well as to do other various things that have an off-highway vehicle focus to them. The 35% that comes to the Game and Fish Department, of that, most of the money is used to get law enforcement officers on the ground. They spend most of their time uh, riding in an off-highway vehicle or on an ATV, and they're out there uh, interacting with the public, making sure that people are doing the right thing. And, and unfortunately, sometimes that part of education is that someone gets cited for doing something improperly. But most of the time, they're just talking to people and educating them about the laws and about doing things safely. Today, officers are in the area of Cow Creek Road on the back way to Crown King, a popular and challenging off-roading area. They're talking with riders to help keep them safe and legal. I'd be out here with, you know, making my clothes into a tent. I've been out here for like 20 minutes. I'm trying to catch game. I'm a city boy. I don't have any clue what I'm doing out here. The worst one I saw was uh, I had a lady uh, a few, about six months ago, that was riding an ATC, a three-wheel Honda, on... Uh, Castle Hot Springs Road and she had her uh, six-month-old daughter straddling the tank and uh, cruising down the road. Most of the violations that I see are usually just the uh, no decals. Most of the riders the officers encounter today are just out enjoying the great outdoors and seem to appreciate the officer's presence. They understand they have a job to do and even the few who are cited for a violation don't get too upset. Really, uh, always have a good one up there. Appreciate you being so cool about it. There's some snow up there. so. There are so many different types of vehicles that people use for off-roading that nothing should surprise the patrol officers but I don't think even they expected to see these coming down the road. One of the biggest concerns with the huge increase in OHV riders is to make sure they stay on approved roads and trails and not create what we call wildcat trails that can destroy native habitat and foul streams. Contrary to popular belief, you can't just ride anywhere on one of these in the state of Arizona. There are approved riding areas across the state, more than 35 of them. Uh, you can find them on the Game and Fish website or on our, our handout pamphlet, OHV Laws and Places to Ride. Making sure that there are plenty of legal places to ride and that access remains open on public lands is the main focus of the decal program. Revenues generated from the new OHV decal will be used to help ensure sustainable opportunities and natural resource protection by increasing funding and grant programs that pay for trail maintenance, signage, maps, facility development, habitat damage mitigation, as well as education and enforcement.
Some people would look at the desert and say this is pretty barren and that there isn't really anything out there, but actually this is habitat to a lot of uh, different animals. Uh, javelina live in this, uh, jackrabbits live in this, and, and that's their habitat. And the reason we don't want people just driving anywhere is because of that habitat damage. Um, I always like to say you wouldn't want somebody to drive one of these through your front living room, so why drive through their living room? Kind of want to make sure that we're taking care of the land out there and really making sure that that habitat is available to everyone. And whether it's desert, whether it's pine forest, no matter where you're riding, that is habitat for some type of wildlife out there. Um, so we always want to leave it better than we found it. As always, Game and Fish always promotes stay on the roads and trails when you're out there. If you are one of the many newcomers to off-roading, remember that safety comes first. It is recommended that you take a training class on how to operate your vehicle and be aware of local laws and legal places to ride. One of the first things you want to think about when riding an ATV or an OHV, an off-highway vehicle, is making sure you have the proper safety gear. If you're riding on an ATV or on a dirt bike, you always want to make sure that you wear a helmet, you want to wear eye protection, you want to wear gloves on your hands, and boots that cover your ankles. Riding off-road is a great way to get out of town and into the outdoors, and our website will give you plenty of information on how to make it a fun, legal, and safe experience. I love getting out and riding. Uh, it, you get to be outside, you get to enjoy the beautiful weather that we have in Arizona. And Arizona is one of those great states where if it's really hot down in Phoenix, you can go up to the Flagstaff area and you can still ride. And when it's really cold and snowy up there, you can come down to the Phoenix area and ride. Uh, we have a beautiful state, there's all kinds of things to see. And you know, when you're out on one of these, you get to go to some of those areas you wouldn't necessarily see if you were just on the highway or zipping by on the freeway. And it's it's just fun. Some of it's just basic recreation. I just have a good time when I'm out riding around.